Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, you know I review many photographic audio and video related products. Now recently I've reviewed the Canon R100, which is Canon's entry level camera into their RF mount system. Uh, it's an APS-C camera and we have it here. But the camera doesn't have a touch screen and it doesn't have an articulating screen. So I needed something as a workaround for that. Um, I love using the camera on its own, even without an external monitor. Uh, but if I'm doing vlogging, which I don't really do, uh, it's nice to be able to turn the monitor around, which you could do if it was an articulating screen, so you could actually see yourself. You can't, you're working blind if you're using this camera, although it does have a mic jack, so it is capable of doing vlogging. But I found an amazing workaround, and I think it's great. Um, and you can use your iPhone. It has to be the latest iPhones. It needs a USB-C port for this to work. And you can use your Android phone. And it's basically an app. It's an app that's called CCNC. A very bizarre name for an app, but that's what uh, I do believe that that's what it's called. And that enables you to use your Canon camera. They do it for Sony as well. Your Canon or Sony camera. And you can use your phone as your monitor. So you've always got your phone with you, so that's great. You don't have to carry an extra piece of gear with you. All you need to buy is a bracket to put the phone in. I've got a little bracket here I've got off Amazon, um, and a USB-C lead. You can even get a shorter one than this. I've got a, a nice short USB-C lead. That goes into the USB port on the camera. Now, the USB port is a, a strange one on this camera. You can't charge a battery up or power the camera from USB-C. You can only use it for transferring images. Uh, but luckily, they put a USB-C port on because it enables you to use this app with it. And I don't know how the, this third-party manufacturer have done it, but you can do live viewing on the app. And I'm going to show you how you do that. It's really easy, really straightforward to do, and works really well. Now, you can use the app wirelessly, uh, as the same you can with a Canon app, actually. But I don't use the Canon app. I have tried it. It's so glitchy. And the latency is atrocious. Uh, so I find the Canon app is completely lousy. Whether you're transferring images, uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But this app works great for live view, works great for transferring your images to your phone. Quick and easy. So you don't have to buy any extras apart from a USB-C lead and a bracket. And that is it, because you're going to have an Android phone or you're going to have your iPhone with you, as I say, as long as it's one of the newer Android phones or the newer iPhone. So all you do, there's no settings on the camera. You don't have to set the camera up to do it. All you have to do is obviously make sure your, camera, uh, your phone is turned on, turn the phone on. And then there's an app here I've got called CCNC. Um, click on that. And it comes up with a menu where you want to use it wirelessly or via USB uh, connection. Just click on USB connection, click on that, and then the camera will go into USB mode, which it has done, uh, and it's loaded up. It goes into loading the images. So you can actually download the images that are on your phone. Very quick, very easy. Choose the images you want. Either click on it. You can scan through the images because it's touchscreen, but you can't do on your back of the camera, so that works great. And all you've bought so far to be able to do that is a USB-C lead, a C to C lead. That's all you've had to do to enable you to do that. Um, uh, this app actually can download a trial version of this app. Uh, and if you like it, then it's either $10 or 10 quid a year, or I pay 25 quid as a one-off purchase. I don't have to worry about a subscription. I think 25 quid is amazing value for money when you see what this app can do. So you can use it for downloading your images, scrolling through your images, or you can use it for live view, which is awesome. So you go into there, and in here there's another sub menu that comes up down the side here. Click on live view, and there you have a, immediately a live view of uh, what the camera is seeing. And that works in stills, and it works in photos. But even more amazing than that, it becomes a touch screen for the camera. So you can set up your focus point, click on that, and then you can choose your, fo uh, your focus point, whether it's spot focus, area focus, face detect, whatever. Um, you can choose your drive mode. Uh, that's your AF mode there, actually. Or you can, and you can do, choose your drive mode, whether you want continuous, uh, single shot drive mode, um, your metering. You can choose what, how you want the camera to meter. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. 
And you've got various other settings on the side here. You've got your autofocus settings on the side there. Uh, and then you can just take a photograph just by pushing the uh, button on the actual phone here. Uh, can't see where it's going, but you can push one of these buttons that will take a photograph. Or you can actually use the camera to take a photograph. Now, the only slight downside uh, with this, and it's nothing to do with the app or the phone whatsoever. The USB-C port on the camera is on the same side as the grip. So you just have to work your hand around, um, if you're doing it handheld, around the grip like that. That's not you know a big issue, but it's just something to bear in mind. But at least you do have um, a touch screen and you have a screen where you can actually monitor what you're doing. And also, if you've got it in video mode, uh, that will automatically switch to your video mode on the monitor. So you can, again, you can set your focus points. You see your audio levels clearly. Look how good that is. Your audio levels, you can see that in the bottom left-hand corner uh, flickering there, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and you can start recording by hitting the record button. There's a little red record button on there. That will start recording. And, uh, uh, and that also shows that it's recording on the camera. But that's also um, showing it actually on the monitor of your iPhone. Now, that is particularly useful if you've got it mounted the other way around. So you can use it in a vlogging environment. You can actually see yourself. So if you imagine it that way around, you can see yourself and you can start recording just by hitting the record button on your phone rather than having to fumble around on the back of a camera. And as I said in this vlogging clip, actually take a look at this vlogging clip and I use this phone for that. So uh, take a look at this vlogging clip to see how well it works. The Canon R100 is actually a capable vlogging camera. Now it hasn't got an articulating screen. So I've actually connected my iPhone with that app that I downloaded using the USB-C lead to be able to monitor myself. And I think that is great. That acts really as an articulating screen. I've just got it connected into the hot shoe of the camera and that's working absolutely fine. Um, I can see that the autofocus is working. I can see that I'm framed correctly, which is really nice. Now I could do with a wide angle lens. I'm using the 18 to 45 kit lens, not wide enough really for vlogging, but it's doing the job. I think it's absolutely fine. And I'm using the built-in mics in the camera as opposed to plugging a microphone in. It has got a mic jack, so I could have plugged a microphone in, uh, but I haven't done that. I've got an auto exposure and auto uh, you know, sound level, so I'm, I haven't adjusted the level levels of the sound is fully auto. Yeah, so there we go. That is the Canon R100 uh, as a vlogging camera. Obviously, you do need some form of external monitor to be able to see what you're doing. But the fact that I can use the iPhone, I think, is absolutely great. And also, what I have noticed, because the camera isn't touchscreen, it doesn't matter if my fingers touch the screen on the back of the camera when I hold it. It's not going to change any of the settings because it isn't a touchscreen camera. So, um, yeah, quite a nice little vlogging camera. So you could see in that vlogging clip that I was actually using the phone to monitor me framing and I was able to start and stop the camera by using the uh, iPhone rather than using the back of the camera. Fantastic little device, fantastic app for transferring images and for uh, live viewing, uh, particularly with the R100. It works, as I say, with Sony cameras and it works with can other Canon R bodies uh, which use the RF mount. I don't know if it works with other Canon cameras, but it certainly works with all the cameras that use the RF mount. And I think that's fabulous with this little R100, because I say when you're going out somewhere, all you've got to shove in your pocket is this little bracket uh, and a USB-C lead. You could try using Wi-Fi, but I find it so glitchy. It's so much quicker just to um, use the um, uh, lead rather than worrying about Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. And as I say, you can transfer images using the app uh, just by, you know, going through them uh, and you can um, live view. So, yeah, great little app available um, in the App Store if you're running iOS and available on the Google Play Store as well if you're running an Android phone. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Hit the like button if you like the content on my videos. We'd really, really appreciate that. It does help me grow the channel. Cheers for now. Bye.